Hey, what's up, everyone? This is yours truly. Um, of today, I'm going to talk about a word that probably the most annoying word of today, and it's the word hater. People, um, this is, a, I mean, it's 2011. And this word, you know, a lot of people started using it in the late 90s, so it's kind of played out now. Um, you know, I was looking at I was looking at a video on YouTube where some dude was talking about, um, he's like, you ever noticed the only people, the main people who say the word hater are LeBron James and Lil Wayne fans? You know what, now that he said that, that he, uh, you know, he kind of has a point. But that's a couple of things I want to talk about today, mainly sports and music in particular, since they are the main people who like to use the word hater. In sports, I mean, hey, let's face facts. If you're a Yankees fan, you probably hate the Red Sox. If you're an Oakland Raiders fan, you probably hate the Kansas City Chiefs. If you're a Green Bay Packers fan, you probably hate the Chicago Bears. That's how it is, you know. I mean, um, you know, if you're a Boston Celtics fan, you probably hate the Lakers. I mean, who, hell, who doesn't hate the Lakers? But um, anyway, uh, that's my thing about sports. I mean, sports is supposed to be entertainment. You're supposed to, you know, not everybody's supposed to cheer for the exact same team. I mean, it doesn't matter who, where, what, you know. I mean, if you like that team or that favorite player or that favorite athlete or whatever that's you I mean go for it I mean just stand by them to the end whatever um, now here's my thing when it comes to hater like I get some people who give me shit because I crack a joke about their team but you know here's what make people look stupid and make a hypocrite out themselves because they'll probably turn around and do it too, you know what I'm saying, you know, I mean, if you don't like people getting mad about talking about your team, don't cry, act like a little bitch, and, you know, turn around and make fun of their team, you know what I'm saying, I mean, I mean, if you don't like people going around cracking jokes about your team or something like that, don't go around making fun of theirs, you know what I'm saying, I mean, how do you think that person feels, that makes, it may make them a hater, but it makes you a hypocrite, you know, because you're going around doing it your damn self. So, I mean, hey, I mean, that's basically all I got to say about sports. I mean, I was like, as far as like LeBron James, I mean, as far as like an athlete's concerned, you know, LeBron James, he's good, but, you know, I'm not a fan of him. If you want to call me a hater because of that, I mean, be my guest. Kobe Bryant, I'm not a fan of his. He's good, but I'm just not no fan of his, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'll, I'm a fan of uh, Derrick Rose. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan, so I like Derrick Rose. If you don't like Derrick Rose, I mean, hey, that's just you. I mean, there's some people who probably don't like him, but that's just you. Um, you know, um, now, moving along to music. Um, here's my thing about music. Music's more opinionated, so... You know, as re as much as other arts and entertainment, like movies and stuff like that. I mean, hell, it's like you know, you doing you. I mean, if you're doing a stand-up comedy act, you know, you crack a bad joke, and people don't think your joke was funny. Some people probably think it's funny, but some people don't. The ones who don't think it's funny, they gonna boo you and throw tomatoes at you. Am I right? So, um. You know, a lot of you people have probably been in this situation before when it comes to... I'll tell you what. As far as music's concerned, we living in a really shitty music era. We living in an era where, you know, there's Taylor Swift, um, Katy Perry, Lil Wayne, Drake, uh, Soulja Boy, Justin Bieber. We living in an area era where everybody hates... I mean, you go back to the 90s, a lot of people didn't hate me. Um, <coughs> a lot of people didn't hate music. Then you didn't hear people going around saying, oh, you're a hater, you're a hater. You know, um, you didn't hear a lot of people saying that. But, 
Uh, moving on today, uh, you know, you hear it all the time. I mean, so what? I mean, if you don't like the track, you don't like, if you don't like their music, you don't like their music. I mean, some of you guys been in a situation where someone, you know, will ask you, you know, what you think about Drake. You know, I think Drake sucks. Oh, you're a hater! <laughs> See? I mean, you make yourself look stupid. I mean, why would you go around asking somebody their opinion and cry and act like a little bitch about it? I mean, my lord. <coughs> secondly, um... Secondly, uh, you guys gotta look. As some of you people who go around, you know, doing that, you make yourself a hypocrite because you go around bashing their favorite artists. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have people do it to me all the time. You know, oh, Cormega's garbage. AZ's garbage. Um, MF Doom's garbage. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, I mean, if that's what you think, that's what you think. Me personally, I don't get mad when cats say that. They be mad when I say one of their favorite artists is garbage, but that's just them. But, um, you know, um, let me see. I got, got the CD right here, Wu-Tang Clan's 8 Diagrams. On a 10-point scale, I'd probably give it a 7. But, I didn't. I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, if it's 36 Chambers, I'd probably give it, on a 10-point scale, I'd probably give it a 10. Me personally, I give, um, here's my thing about, uh, as far as, like, if you want to call somebody a hater, give, call somebody a hater that won't give somebody a try, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I'm open to everybody. I listen to, I can listen to some A to Z. I'll listen to some A to Z. I'll listen to freaking Rebecca Black the other day, and, you know what, I think she sucks, I don't care if she's 14, 15, or whatever, I think she sucks, I think that Friday song was probably one of the dumbest songs ever, but that's just me, I mean, some people probably like the song, some people don't, but, uh, I mean, hey, that's my opinion, now, some of you, here's another thing I hate, is some of you people who come out nowhere and be like, oh, well, you ain't never made an album before, so how can you sit there and say they suck? Well, you know what? The music is for the audience. You know, movies are for the audience. The whole arts and crafts is for the audience. You mean you, you give what you think about it? You know what I'm saying? Now you go back to sports. You could probably back your shit up with some, um, you know, with some records and stats and stuff. But you come to music. I mean, you know, it's kind of a more an opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know. You just got some of you people who say that are exact same people who go around bashing other people's artists. That makes you a hypocrite. And secondly, some of you people who say that are people who go around who just got done watching a movie and you just gave your two cents. Oh, yeah, that Green Lantern movie is garbage. Well, motherfucker, you ain't never directed, acted, produced uh, in a movie before, so why don't you shut the fuck up? I. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's all I got to say as far as music is concerned. I mean, hey, for all you people who, um, at the end of the day, for all you people who, like, um, hate music, today's music, here's my best advice to you. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Check out some underground. Number two, check out, do some experiments. You know, check out some underground or some unsigned cats, you know, some of them little annoying cats to be sending you friend requests on MySpace and Facebook or whatever. Check some of them out, I guess. I mean, it was, listen to something different. Or do what I do. Um, go back and listen to some stuff you ain't never heard of before. Um, you know, like, I, a year ago, I bought an album called End of the Stage by Black Moon. Man, that album is tight as hell. Buckshot, you know, he's good. Me personally, I'm kind of new to a lot of rap music because I didn't start listening to it till like 2002 when I was old enough to buy my own parental advisory CDs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying I grew up in the church home, so my uh, great-grandparents, God rest their soul, they weren't going to buy this stuff for me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, that's, that's um, my best advice to you. Check out some other stuff. Me. Me personally, or like I said, do some experiments. Listen to something different. I mean, I was a, I saw listen to rock music and some, you know, you know, some other type of 
you know, monotone alternative music like I was listening to Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd, Nirvana, you know, B York, um, Fiona Apple, some stuff, uh, Suzanne Vega. I started listening to that stuff. I mean, hey, he's, um, I mean, hey, go back and listen to some shit you ain't you missed before. Go to rateyourmusic.com. It's a website I go to all the time. Go there and check out all the high-rated albums. You won't be disappointed. I mean, hell, it works for me. I'm pretty sure it could work for you because the radio, I mean, hey, it's not going to do nothing but get worse and worse. you go gone from, yeah, to what, okay, to lean with, rock with it, to... Superman at Ho to Lollipop and now you, on the radio use it to like a G6 like a G6 so yeah the radio is not going to do nothing to get worse and worse you know what I'm saying so I mean hey it's going to show you how the society is today but hey in conclusion here's my thing for all you people who go around calling somebody a hater think about some of the shit you know just remember, like I said, most of you people who do that are hypocrites. Think about some of the shit you be doing your damn self before you go around judging other people. I, you know, the word hate, and come up with something new besides the word hater. You make yourself look stupid. All right? I mean, hey, I catch people on Facebook all the time, you know, bashing other people. I mean, hey, you know, when you're updating your status on 99.9% .9 of the people who update their status on Facebook are hypocrites, if you ask me. Because they go around, you know, bashing other people and they turn around and do it their damn self. You know, can't let somebody have their own First Amendment. But, um, but yeah, man, um, as far as, um, you know, you LeBron James fans go, I got a little sub, I got a little present for you. This dude, I'm going to show you a picture of. He has more rings than LeBron. Watch this. Now, there's some exceptional hating I can um, I can't agree with. I mean, hey, if you're going to hate on somebody because they get better looking girls than you do or something like that, or they got more money than you do, I mean, hey. You know, that's something like that I think I could consider exceptional hating.